Hello, fellow Slovak descendants. This is Dia. I have recently been approved for my Slovak Living Abroad Certificate, also known as the SLA. And I'm going to answer a few of the questions that I have been getting about my experience with the SLA process. So the first question is, why get the SLA certificate? I got my SLA so that I can move to Slovakia. Um, the SLA allows for you to legally live, work, or open a business in Slovakia. All you have to do is apply for your residency permit. And um, in order to apply for residency permit, you have to have a valid reason. And SLA holder is reason enough. Um, so that's the main reason why I got my SLA. Another big reason, of course, is the emotional aspect to it. Um, I'm very proud of being Slovak and I want to be able to really demonstrate that I am the Slovak. And so I'm super excited to flash my SLA card all over the place and be proud. Um, another reason is, of course, that it can help shortened the amount of time of getting citizenship. Um, it shortens it from seven years to three years, which is really important. Question two, why not just get citizenship by descent? So I went for SLA first instead of attempting to get citizenship by descent because in order to get citizenship by descent, you have to also apply for residency at the same time. Um, and in order to apply for residency, from my understanding of reading everything and talking with others, um, you have to have a valid reason for that. And simply because you want citizenship is not a valid reason. That may change in the future. People may apply and still get it, but it's not terribly clear is why I decided to take the SLA route first, because by having an SLA, that's a valid legal reason, according to Slovakia, that it's clear on that I can apply um, based on that. Additionally, with um, citizenship by descent, I am not 100%, 90% sure that I am eligible for that. Reason being is one of my great grandparents came from a town that is now in Poland. It's not in current day Slovakia, which makes them ineligible. The other part of my family, he came in March of 1910. And a lot of what I've heard is if your relative left before July 1910, it's not clear if they had citizenship or eligible for citizenship shall we say. So um, I don't know for certain. It's And with it being a new law, I wanted to take a more surefire route that has stood the test of time. Doesn't mean I'm not going to apply. I am going to apply for citizenship by descent, but I wanted this extra security of my SLA um, to begin with. Well, those are today's questions. Check out in the next couple days, I'll have some more questions up. And in the meantime, if you have specific questions and there's things you wanna know, put them down in the comments and I will add them to videos in the near future. And for more in-depth information, please check out Global Slovakia's SLA and Citizenship by Descent Workshop. It is only $66.99, so check it out. All right, take care everybody, bye.